For this instalment, I thought it would be fun to show you a little extract from one of the tunes on the Aristocrats album, which may or may not be out and available for purchase by the time you read and or watch this. It's from a tune called Bad Asteroid, and it's actually something that's been bubbling away in my collection of unused tunes for about 18, 19 years. And finally, I've got an excuse to record it properly. And yeah, it's called Bad Asteroid. Uh, look up the aristocrats if you want to know more about this, but the, the section I wanted to show you today I thought you'd find, find interesting because there's some wacky tapping ideas, but also there's some harmonic interest. There's some budget Steely Dan kind of chords going on in the background. So if you just play the lick on its own, it doesn't mean anything. It sounds weird. You need the chords there for context. So I guess I'll start by showing you what the chords are. Okay, so here are the chords. Um, starts with that, so it's kind of a C triad, but you've got a B flat in the bass. So you might think of it as a B flat Lydian vibe, which ends up there. And there's an A with a B in the bass, so you might, or probably do, think of that as a B 11th kind of sound. Um, and that's kind of fun. Every finger moves up one fret apart from the one on the B string. And I guess now it's a nice dominant ninth in the key of C. And then something like that. It's essentially an F major seven. Sometimes I'll add that uh, major nine sound in there. So a lot of these feel like keyboard chords. So you've got a triad and then you've got the wrong bass note. Um, uh, so I guess it says C with an F in the bass, and then this um, A flat Steely Dan chord. <laughs> Call it what you will. Uh, I seriously don't care what that chord, chord is called. Um, but it's, it's that one. Um, going to G thirteen. Make sure you're not playing the A string there, that will kill it. And then it's got a B flat major seven, a bit of a sharp 11 in there for flavoring. And, and then back to a nice moody E minor chord of some kind. So. Attentive among you may have noticed that there's one note running through. And that seems like a good trick for making sure weird, random sounding chord progressions do kind of make sense. If there's just one pedal that runs throughout the whole thing, it sounds more like you've, you intended to put the chords in that order. Hopefully. <laughs> 